Uh, recovery will come in 2021. Um, I think the, the, the shape of it, though, is going to be very, uh, very volatile. Um, and revenue management teams need to be very flexible in terms of, in terms of how they deal with that and how they're set up for that. Um, it's, it's certainly going to be a, a bumpy recovery. So it's, it's important that teams remain very agile and, uh, and dynamic in terms of how they, you know, how, they, how they deal with demand and how they approach it. Um, if, I, if I was to give a kind of a checklist for, um, for, for revenue managers on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I think first and foremost would be to, you know, to really evaluate your bookings and check your bookings on a daily basis. Um, you know, in, in the past, it's often been sufficient to look at, you know, look at booking trends on a weekly or sometimes even, even longer time frame. Uh, but given the changes we've seen in the past 12 months and the, uh, you know, the shortening of those booking windows, I think it's really important that, you know, evaluating the bookings across each route and across each market is really something that needs to be performed on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's, you know, it will highlight trends, it will highlight new, um, new problems that may be emerging, it will highlight new opportunities that, that, that are emerging, and, and set up alerts for when there are deviations to trends um, so that they can look into them in more detail. Um, I think more than more than ever, and again, Brian, Brian touched on this, competitive data is, is really important. Um, without the without the aid of historical data and and very stable booking trends, it's really important to know what the competitors are doing because it's one of the one of the key benchmarks that you can actually look at and see, you know, where am I in this in this marketplace? Am I where I think I should be in terms of price? Um, you know, because perhaps things are happening faster than, than than you're anticipating, and so it's really important to get that data. Um, and particularly with again with the with the very short booking windows, it's really important that that data is as fresh as possible. We mentioned the the, the kind of shopping data and maybe the, the, the data that's available from from internal sources. So um, you know, talk to your marketing colleagues, your your e-commerce colleagues about what data they can they can they can provide from uh, from your own website in terms of what customers are looking for, what they're shopping for, you know, where they drop out in terms of the in terms of the booking process. Um, and from, from an external point of view, you know, there, there's lots of data out, out, outside of the company. One of, one, of, one of the key bits of data that I don't see a lot of revenue management systems include is capacity data. Um, and I think as we emerge from the, uh, from the pandemic, that's going to be a really important one. Because one of the trends we've seen over the last number of months is that all airlines are shifting capacity to where they think the, uh, the recovery will start first. And finally, but probably the most important uh, piece of data that, uh, that, that, that revenue managers need to keep an eye on is that regulatory, regulatory environment. Uh, because I think the, the biggest changes we've seen in demand have come when governments have, have changed the regulations. Yeah.